so let's see examples of partition table by default by default every table is non partitioned table by default by default every table is table is non partitioned table non partitioned table non partitioned table so by default when you create any table so default table type is non partitioned okay so let's open browser let's open uh, name node url so if you go name node url utilities browse file system and yesterday we created emp table right let's open browse file system still it may processing so let's go hadoop fs hyphen ls under root under user under hive under warehouse under mydb dot db let's see list of files and directories so both are same still demands are running yep under user under uh, hive under warehouse so we have database mydb under mydb we have tables right any query no okay so this is emp table emp table this is of actual files so we have three files so this one created based on our insert overwrite command I think you remember yesterday we written insert overwrite command right so that command internally processed and generated this file so these are different files so first partition means it's a sub directory of main directory partition means see in hive in hive when you create database when you create database when you create database it will create directory it will create directory so directory name mydb.db it use extension is .db when you create table when you create a table when you create table it will create a directory it will create directory under under database directory database directory so it will create database directory so under my db dot db so it will create directory name emp emp so if you create partition if you create partition if you create partition partition so partition is a sub directory is a sub directory under main di main directory under under main table so we created assume we created uh, gender equal to female ef so when you create partition with in this way gender equal to female and gender equal to male 
it will create two sub sub directories under this one under emp table it will create two partitions under emp table it will create two emp directory right so it will create two sub directories first one is gen equal to female and gen equal to male so when you write a query like select start from emp where gen equal to f so it directly goes to this compare this partition there is no comparison earlier previously assume we have 1 lakh records 1 lakh records so 1 lakh comparisons right 1 lakh comparisons after 1 lakh comparisons assume in this 20000 is female records female records so we are getting just 20000 records after 1 lakh comparison but if this because of this partitioning see in a single comparison in a single comparison directly it will check this comparison whether gen equal to female or not whether gen equal to male or not with this comparison it enter into here here we have actual file right so this contain data some zero 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 underscore one this is the file it return this complete file data okay so in a single comparison we get this 20000 records without comparisons like previously without a partition after 1 lakh comparison we are getting 20000 records in a single comparison we are getting complete female records so this is the main advantage of partition so partition is a sub directory of main table directory partition is a sub directory of main table directory okay let's uh, implement partition So by default, when you create any table, any table, this is non-partitioned table. We have already implemented non-partition concept. Let's try to implement partition concept. Creating partitioned table. Creating partitioned table. So for creation of partition table, we use create part table name and column names is same column names are same let me see so this is column names and here we use partitioned by partition column partitioned by partition column so whatever the column we are thinking to divide partitions then let's create a partition column so i'm creating partition table here we get some error observe so i'm creating use my db so if you use this syntax we get some error so if you observe error column repeated in partition columns column repeated in partition columns so if you observe our example see i created partition name is gen equal to f but if you observe query table creation so create table table name employee number is one column employee name is another column salary is another column gender is another column again we are taking partition column name is gender 
okay so it is not recommended partition column name must be different name partition column name must be different name so let's use create table partition column name here i'm using gen so it is created table observe uh, let's open name node url refresh here so we have we created e part right e part table this is main table currently there is no sub tables sub partitions sub directories when sub directories are created whenever you are going to load data in this table based on some partition column so how do we load partition data means we have already data right we have already emp table with some records with some records in this records we have both female data female and male data right male data so we have both female and male data yes sir so this table already contain both female data and male data we created another table we created another table e part e part in this we created partition column partition column partition column name is gen but currently there is no data in this e part table then load load data load data into e part table e part table from existed table from existed table or or by loading by load by load command you can use either so we have we have already emp table so i'm using emp table to divide that data okay by using emp table we can load data from emp table to e part table for that one we are using command so insert overwrite table e part select star from emp where gender equal to f where gender equal to f but here we are selecting only female column female data but here we get some error here we get some error because we created separate partition column right for partition column also we have to pass value partition column also we have to pass value if you not pass partition column value then we get error let's try this one okay so uh, insert override table e part select star from emp where gender equal to f observe the error so it is giving semantic oh. error is for different for different error so we have to put strings in single quote this is sql syntax so in comparison in comparison comparison in sql or hive we put in we put strings in single quote string data in single quote single quote but yep it is recommended recommended single quote they may use double quote for other purpose 
so recommended is single quote in java we use in java most of other languages most of other languages strings we put in double quote generally equal to is used for assignment assignment in java and other languages but in sql and hql we use for comparison so if you observe this query we are using comparison this column value with our condition value okay for comparison we are using equal to operator so here we get one error observe so need to specify partition column need to specify partition column so here in this query we did not talk about anything about partition column we are inserting data but here in this query we didn't uh, mention anything about partition column so while inserting data into this partitioned table we have to specify partition column details because here it has to create a sub partition right sub table sub directory so how it creates a sub directory based on the partition column value okay so it is going to create one sub directory in this way right i mentioned here it has to, it will it is going to create one sub directory and the table directory so if you mention column name value it will create sub directory how do we do this one is let's observe so here insert overwrite table e part partition and partition column name selection list only one thing we add this part partition partition gen equal to female select star from female let's execute this one and observe here once this query is successfully executed we will see separate sub directory and the sub directory we are going to see this architecture it will create selected list with file okay let's refresh browser we see sub directory gen equal to f so this is directory clearly this file type specifying whether it is a directory or file click on this directory here it is created file this is file type so in this file actual data is presented complete female data is presented in this directory let's see hadoop command hadoop fs hyphen cat this is the path right under this class uh, how many zeros six zeros i underscore zero this file contain complete female records all female records okay how it internally stores it depends upon the hive structure 
but while selecting it will return right we are not writing any map reduce program internally based on the structure it is created meta store meta store has this schema right based on that schema it will retrieve data from this table yep partition command uh, cre while creating table we specify partition column name while inserting data we specify what is the column we want to create okay same way insert one more query insert one more query for mail for mail and select a star from emp gender equal to mail so this one creates one more sub partition one more sub partition sub partition mail in this sub partition we are going to see once it is completed it will create file with 60 underscore 0 once it is successful so if you observe it is still creating staging means it's still creating not completed once map reduce is completed once map reduce is converted this staging converted to actual file okay so completed let's refresh So it is converted into actual file. So we have two, two subdirectories. Two subdirectories. Or we can use single query. We can use single query to insert both files data. Both conditions in both conditions. Yes. 